Hi, I'm Tim. Join me as I show how you can make this Beechcraft Staggerwing foam board RC model airplane. I built this in two days and um, well, I'll show you how to build it and we'll take a look at how it flies. Free plans are available in the description. Let's get to it. Perfect. The Beechcraft Stagger Ring was a private aircraft uh, built in the 1930s with a distinctive plan form where the top wing was after the lower wing, hence the term Stagger Wing. <clears throat> it makes for a very attractive model. Here is the one that we'll build in this video, all made out of 3, quarter, three sixteenth inch foam board. In an earlier video, I made a 6.8 ounce foam board model of the Beechcraft Stagger Wing. And this is it right here. Model weighs about 6.8 .8 ounces. It flew very well. And what I'm continuing to experiment on this is using completely flat wings. You can see on the side view there's no airfoil. It's just flat foam board with carbon fiber rods. And there's no dihedral as well. And it turns out the model flies very nice. A little bit of positive incidence on the top wing that's on the plans, a level wing on the bottom. And um, this is a good experiment. So what I wanted to do was to take a little bit closer look at the three view of the um, Staggerwing. This is the three view here that I just got off the internet, Beechcraft Staggerwing three view. And it's really a quite attractive airplane with some curves, the curved tail surfaces. I imported this into QCAD. QCAD is my computer uh, drawing program on uh, the, the Mac that I use. I like it a lot. And I'll put information on the description where you can get it. There is a free version of QCAD, $40 for the full version. It's worth every penny. And what I did was I paid a little bit more attention to the actual model with its curves. And this is a working copy of the plans with the curved wings, a little bit less wing area, uh, curved horizontal tail surfaces. Fuselage looks a lot nicer, the interplane struts. So I think it'll be a good expansion from the original test version to make this um, look a little bit better. So we'll, that's what we'll do. And um, to take a look at this original model, uh, just how it's set up, I'll replicate this with the one that I'm building here. Three channels with ailerons, throttle, and elevator. There's no rudder. Ailerons in the top wing only for simplicity. Uh, I use a Park 250 motor, a 7x3.5 prop. The wing, the lower wing is held on by rubber bands. Now this comes off and it's very easy to see inside that there is the single elevator servo. The receiver is back behind the block and the battery is located uh, in the nose for center gravity purposes. Note also the top and bottom surfaces are, are not covered with foam board to save weight. On this version, I'm going to cover those just to make it look a little bit better. So this is the first stage. It will evolve into the um, one that I drew up today. QCAD is a super easy program to use. And what you can do is you can print out on your home printer full-size plans with a tiling option on separate pieces of paper. So here's the fuselage full-size with the incidents built onto the top of the wing and the bottom located here. This is the elevator stabilizer, the rudder, and here's a wing half. It's a 30-inch wingspan with the fuselage, various formers, and the interplane struts. So I'll cut these out tomorrow, trace and cut them on the foam board and start assembly with foam with hot glue and we'll keep you updated on the video with the progress of the build. These are the full size paper parts uh, made from QCAD, fuselage side, the wings, tail surfaces, interplane struts and fuselage formers. I always like to take a look at the electronics. Here are the two aileron servos with a Y connector, the original smaller motor, Park 250. I went to a Park 370. The elevator servo receiver, a very simple, and electronic speed control, just a very simple setup. Nothing at all unusual about this. These are the foam board parts cut out from 3 6 inch inch foam board. I elected to pull the paper off most of this to make it a little bit lighter weight. I think you could leave the paper on uh, your option. Both wings are the same, top and bottom, 30 inch wingspan, flat with two millimeter carbon rods reinforcing the uh, elevator. And that's everything of the airplane uh, that you see right there. 
using a hot glue gun to put on the fuselage formers, more or less at a 90 degree angle. See the cutout on the fuselage, on the uh, firewall one for the wires. Here the other half is put in place and the tail surface is held together with a paper clip. A clothespin rather. This is cutting the top to make it bendable for the fuselage front top and that just goes into place and will be hot glued once everything is uh, complete. This is a completed fuselage with the front and uh, rear uh, turtle decks uh, hot glued in place and opening for the wing. The top wing is uh, glued in place. The bottom wing is held in place with rubber bands. And I decided to keep the bottom uh, open, no covering, just for ease of access, maybe save a little bit of weight. Made very good progress today on my uh, semi-scale stagger wing. You can see the fuselage uh, that I'm holding. If you recall from the earlier video, I have a card up for it. It's in the description. This was the original uh, trial version, just to see how the stagger wing worked with the Light Ranger um, series of models. So this was a lightweight one. There was no covering, so forth. It was powered by this motor right here. So as I was building this monster, and the, the, the stag wing is this wide, as I was drawing up the plans, it was just a wide airplane because it had a, a very big radial engine. It was just a wide airplane. That was part of its character. So there is no way in the world this engine is going to work here. My wife looked on it in horror as I was building it. So what I'm going to do is take this uh, Park 370 motor. This will be gobs of power with a two cell. I'll put that on here. 25 um, uh, Talon, 25 Castle uh, ESC. That, that should work just fine with a two cell LiPo. So that'll go on. So this is a fuselage. I've covered the whole thing with the yellow tape. I'm going to put on some windows tomorrow just for a little bit of character. The um, plywood for the fuselage uh, motor mount is here. There just wasn't enough with the um, styrofoam front. So what I did was I added a back plate of the 1 16th inch to the foam board and hot glued it to the sides. That'll give it just a little bit reinforcement with the um, mounting screws for the engine. The formers are shown right here and this is the fuselage. So I think this is coming along good. This is the elevator. I used the yellow strapping tape for the hinge. That worked out just fine. Notice that the um, is a continuous elevator. In the three views, you, you I'll put the three view up on top. You have a little V into the elevator, but just to make this simple so I don't have to have a connecting rod, I'm going to have a continuous elevator. I had to cut a little uh, angle cut down there to have room for the elevator to go down, and that's what I did. At the same time with the rudder, with the vertical uh, fin assembly, I cheated a little bit, cut this out so that the elevator can go up. And that's just ease of, of uh, putting all this together. That's what I decided to do on this model. So that's the fuselage, the tail surfaces, and then the wings are in pretty good shape. This is the top wing, again with the ailerons and the um, strapping tape hinges on there. These are the that. I have the um, carbon fiber rods. I left this bare foam, just have a little bit better gluing surface because I'm going to glue on the top wing. Rubber bands on the bottom wing, and this is the bottom wing, again with the carbon fiber rod, two millimeter carbon fiber rod, and that'll, uh, that'll be that. So the wings are not super big, all the more reason to have the larger engine. It's going to fly faster for the initial test flights, I'm just certain. So that's it for tonight. I'm going to keep the bottom open. Just uh, tomorrow I'll be putting in some of the components, uh, putting on the control surfaces, and uh, we may finish this up tomorrow, if not for sure, the day after. The model has been uh, covered with its uh, yellow uh, packing tape, very easy to put on. Uh, this is a view of the wing. The aileron servos are in the top wing only underneath, so they're kind of hidden. Just a very simple linkage. I use popsicle sticks for the control horns for the ailerons. Plenty of throw initially. I decreased that for the flights. And flipping the wing over, this is what it looks like on the top with the ailerons moving. View inside the very wide fuselage, plenty of room for everything. You can see the motor is screwed into place. There's a little gap to bring in the wires, the electronic speed control, and everything fits in pretty well. Just a little bit of down and right thrust seems to be sufficient for the model. And you can see the wing hold down dowels for the um, lower wing. This is the beginning of the cowl. I just took a strip of the foam board, uh, cut uh, 
little uh, slices in it to make it go around. I found a roll of tape that was just about the right size, used that to make a nice round circle. This is a completed cowl with a front piece. I think it adds a little bit of character to the model. This is what it looks like just with the trial fit on. We went ahead and glued that on, <coughs> covered it with packing tape, and uh, this is what it looks like. And again, you can make that as fancy as you want with your um, build of the stagger wing. I've uh, completed more or less the uh, stagger wing. So here it is, the front view. In the side view, like I've done with some of these other models, it's all 3 16th inch foam board. The wing is a 30 inch wingspan. There's no dihedral. And if you look on the side, there's no airfoil to the shape. It's merely flat um, foam board. A little bit of a positive incidence on the top wing, level incidence on the bottom wing. Three channels with ailerons, elevator, and throttle. I did have to put in the Park 370 motor. The other one on the Light Ranger series just was simply not enough. And what I'll do to complete it is put on a little bit more of the trim for some decoration, maybe some numbers on top, and then out to the field to fly it. The weight is 12 ounces. This thing is, is heavy. It's heavy. And so the bigger engine will just have to do that. You can see there's a lot of blanking of this prop from the front. I put on just a cowl just to kind of play around with that. I think it adds a little bit to the appeal. So let's take a look at the troll throws. There's the elevator right there, plenty of elevator. And if you look at the ailerons, again, I'll have to turn that down a little bit, but there's plenty of throw for the ailerons for the bank. And for the engine, point it away from everybody. I think there'll be pl plenty of um, thrust for that. I do intend to put on the interplane struts between the wings. This is the um, drawing from QCAD. I think I'll just make it out of 1 16th inch plywood, glue it to the top, just fit it into a slot in the bottom, and I'll, I'll tackle that tomorrow. So why don't we take a quick look inside. Uh, again, this is the bottom. It is uncovered just to ease of access, make it a little bit light. With a 4 inch wide fuselage, there's plenty of room for everything. No, no worries in that department. And that's all it is, is the elevator servo here. The battery's located, electronic speed control, and the receiver and that's that's the whole thing so well we're done with the uh, stagger wing um, I made some decals on the printer uh, put them on top with the uh, clear sticky vinyl same for the side trim monocoat for the side of the fuselage and the interplane inner wing struts came out very well this is one of the advantages of using QCAD or any CAD program I could absolutely put these out accurately with the incidences etc and a little notch so they're glued into the top wing it just fits into a notch in the bottom wing because the bottom wing is um, removable so i'm happy with the way it came out and we're just wait for a little bit of good weather and then we'll head out to the field well the field today for a test flight it looks like a pretty good day a little bit of a breeze but i think it'll be okay for a test flight um the stagger wing it came in at 12 ounces that's that's not heavy, but it's, a, it's enough weight. There's not a ton of uh, wing area here between the two wings. So it'll probably be a fast flight and um, we'll see how it goes. Again, just inside, there's plenty of room. Uh, here's the elevator servo, the two uh, aileron servos of the motor here. So we'll put the model together and then we'll give it a test flight. All right, here goes. This is the no kidding maiden flight of the airplane. Just um, took off a little bit of a dip as we feel things out. I tried to turn to the right. The bottle just didn't want to turn to the right. If I had a rudder, it would have come right around. No worries, go around to the left. Just feel it out, flying a little bit faster than normal. Uh, there's plenty of pitch with the elevator. The ailerons work just fine. Need a little bit of right trim for future flights. And then I found as I kept my speed up, I could quite easily turn to the uh, right. There was no problem there. Headed down to the other end of the field, a little bit better sun angle for the pictures, and completed the first maiden flight from there.
perfect. So we had a good, uh, successful test flight. I'm very happy. I was a little bit nervous, I'll be honest, on the, on the flight, but it handled well. It needs a little bit of right trim, but that's no big deal with the ailerons. We can fix that. Uh, there's plenty of power with this engine, the Park 370. All details are in the description. Remember, there's a free set of QCAD and PDF plans in the description if you'd like to build this. Um, I was very happy with the way it flew. Now, one thing I did notice, and I was kind of looking at this, the moment, which is the distance of the um, tail, you know, from the um, rudder to the to the uh, center of the, of the wing area, is fairly short. And so it was a little bit of adverse yaw turning with just the ailerons, which I kind of half was expecting. That's where you really need rudder if you have that. So if you want to make this a four channel model, it can certainly um, take the extra weight of a rudder servo. I think that would help with the turns, but it handled well. Uh, note also the wing is a flat wing. There is no dihedral and there's no airfoil. It's just a flat wing with a slight amount of positive incidence on the top wing, which is showing the plans, but that seems to work out well. Also the center gravity is just about 25% back from the leading edge to the trailing edge of the two wings, which is right about here. So for the reverse stagger, that works out fine. But it's a fun little airplane. It's all made from uh, foam board, 12 ounces, covered with uh, packing tape. Maybe give it a try.